What's up everyone? We're out of Cadillac uh, Service Garage today for another wedding. We got all the gear over there. We're gonna be setting up on the stage down here around here. Totems, movers, up lights, cold sparks outside, ceremony audio up there, cocktail. We got the GoPro running right somewhere over here. We're gonna record all the setup here and then we're gonna go set up the ceremony and we're gonna rock and roll this party. Let's go! I did wanna provide you guys a little tips um, whenever you show up to a venue, a lot of people want to show up and just like start rushing right into setup. I'm going to tell you right now, you will be quicker with setup if you take a second and you plan properly. So me and Hayden, we're looking at the room. I always look at the room in terms of how we can best utilize our gear to maximize the room, whether it's with lighting, whether it's with sound, etc. So we took a second and I'll explain to you what we do. Like, let's look at the venue real quick. We're going to take a pan back. We got the photo booth area over here. We have the dancing area here. We have the stage, which is open for us to use, and then all the tables over here. It's kind of a lengthy room, and then upstairs is where cocktail is going to be, and then there's going to be ceremony in the front room. We'll show you that in a bit. One thing to note about this venue, very good sound acoustics paneling in here that make things sound crisp and awesome. So what we did was, we want to utilize the stage, of course, because it would look weird if we didn't utilize the stage, but also we want the music and the lighting and the experience for later to be really centric on the dance floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the DJ booth up there, put the back rack behind it, we're going to put a speaker over here, and we're going to put a speaker here, and we're going to put our two totems right here. And then we're also gonna wire a speaker on the side, so that way we have a nice full surround sound feel. And that way we get the most out of our design when it comes to sound and lighting. Again, we got this awesome stage here. We're not gonna let it go to waste. We're gonna put the booth up here, the nice, awesome, sexy turntable booth. And then we're gonna go from there. So we up above, this is the upper deck overlooking it. We are actually set up over here. And excuse all the light, but it's extremely bright outside. But we got our little ceremony rack here. We do have an LD up here. This one is strictly for cocktail. The other one actually routed the XLR cable down and around, and you can see it down there. And this is uh, where we're gonna have the ceremony, up here in the front room. So yeah, I just took the XLR down and around, ran it down, and it's like hidden. We're hidden, that's hidden. It's right here on the side. I prefer to run the speaker on the side. That's just my preference. Heading to the back. We still gotta button up the, the rack up here, get it hooked up in, get the facade set up. We're charging our batteries right here. These are actually both lighting batteries. They are for the movers. Well, they work with the movers, but we're gonna use them for the cold sparks. So they're like 96% charge right now. We use those later for cold sparks. All right, so we're fully set up over here. Um, it is very bright if I turn. The, the window's very bright like it has been, so it's really hard to kind of film right now. The sun is going down, but we do have the turntable booth with the Better Together sign on front up here. Rocking our Rain 12s. We have our Pioneer S9 in the middle. Uh, we're rocking sound switch over here with the Control 1. We have Serato DJ Pro. I didn't know that worked. Huh. So um, we're all set back here, ready to go. Vmoto headphones, as always, custom, 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 custom. People were asking how I got these two. These are go-to 12-inch uh, skins. You can get custom everything, all that stuff to brand yourself up. We got the LD Maui 44 G2s, which sound awesome in this room. Back rack, ADJ facade, audio table back here, custom built with the tabletop. These are the lids that go on the front and the back. So these actually become tabletops. The legs fold up in, it's awesome. Yamaha 12, Drive Rack PA2, Thurman, Audio Technica 3000 fourth gens. Speaking very quickly, got our paperwork here. Courtesy of Vibo, Vibo DJs. If you guys are not using Vibo DJs, it's a game changer. You can print out all your forms. I also have a digital copy on my iPad there. Uh, bang, of course. We actually have a little, we have a lot of room up here, which is awesome. We put the both lighting cases up here for a table. Again, Maui 44 G2 back here. We have our totems. These are Global Trust totems. Up top, we have our both lighting moving heads up there. Uh, we do have both lighting up lights all the way around the room, 16 of them. The other 44 G2 right there. And yeah, that's the room setup. We do have a XLR ran over here. We're gonna put a Maui 5 Go, one of the ones we're using up there. We're gonna put it on the side here just to get a nice full coverage sound. I am anticipating when people come in here that the sound is not gonna carry as well from those speakers all the way to the back. So I'm gonna add a little side fill speaker to make it sound even better. We'll try and do a sound demo here in a second. They got this cool pipe and drape set up so that when people come in, they come through here. We go in here for our ceremony. And I've already shown you the ceremony setup, but it's nice and sleek, hidden in the corner. Looks awesome. I introduce you for the first time ever, Samantha and Gates Wainwright. <laughs> Checking in, cocktail hour. Happen up there. And uh, we're all set up. 
The sun's going down, it's beautiful, all the lighting's coming together. Look at it, look at it. Got the both lighting S4s around the room on a uh, amber. Table decor looking stunning. Got the uh, totems back here, the both lighting. 150 watt movers shooting up into the walls on either side, little dots action. And of course the booth looking amazing over there. They got the letters out back too. The Wayne Wrights. These letters have got to be one of the most epic things ever. Interesting though, I would have used it inside. I mean, it's dope out here. Cause you can see it from inside, but like I'd use it inside. I would have put it like right in front of the dance floor. It looks sick. Awesome, awesome guys. We're gonna party up the rest of the night. Make sure you guys use the telephone. Make sure you guys check out the photo booth and we're gonna spin some tracks.
Wedding is over. We're, uh, we're in the progress to tear down everything. Killer party, happy couple. Vendors claiming that one of the best, if not the best DJs they've ever seen. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not that braggy. I can't be the best, I'm not the best. You know, if you're the best, then there's no room to improve. So always keep that in mind. You are never the best. There's always DJ better than you. And I just got back from DJ Collective and let me tell you straight up, I am nowhere near the best. Shout out DJ Collective. DJ Collective is by far the best sort of DJ thing I've ever done. It's not a conference, it's an experience. <laughs> I'm gonna go change, we're gonna break all this down, and uh, when I catch back with you, we'll be loading out. <laughs> that Ricky's funny, thinking what, like he was gonna film something when he was loading out. No, he wasn't. He put the camera down and he went home. He was tired, even though he didn't look like it. It had been a long week. So, this is future Ricky checking in from the garage, which full garage tour is in the works. Everything you see in the garage, the tool area, all this coming around here and around here and around here. And um, we're, we're actually missing a lot of gear. We have since, I've talked about this before, but we launched a new company or I launched a new company called Greensboro Holiday Lights and we install Christmas lights during the Christmas season and we're looking into expanding that division into doing like gutter cleaning and some other things. I got a whole another team that basically runs it, but because of that we had to pick up um, some storage units. So we have about three, I think it's 350 square feet of storage units. We have two of them together that make 350 square feet and we ended up moving out. Some of the stuff we just don't use as much, like we moved our stage decks over there. We moved some of the gear we're trying to get rid of. It's used. If you guys want some used gear, I got a whole list of stuff, some ADJ PARs. I got turbo sound speakers. I got some few stuff. I'll put a link down below to all the used gear I'm trying to get rid of. We create a whole little like landing page for it with all the stuff we're trying to get rid of. I've been trying to get rid of it for a while now, so uh, let's just do 25% off all the prices, 25% off. Just enter discount code must go when you go to place your order. Basically when you, there's an order form, but just put must go and I'll give you 25% off all the used gear that you wanna buy. There's rain 12 cases in there. There's, I can't remember everything. There's rain 12 cases. We got wireless something, wireless video switchers that are in there. Like I'm just trying to get rid of it. There's a JBL Eon one compact, you know, the battery powered speaker. I'm trying to get rid of that. Also on that used list, there's a bunch of open box stuff. We have a bunch of both lighting stuff that's it's open box that we're trying to get rid of if you want some discounted lights some discounted speakers and all kinds of other little things i have um, go check out the use gear section again promo code uh use discount code must go and i'll give you 25 percent off but anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in i will see you guys in the full garage tour coming up very soon i'm about to shoot it like the video comment down below hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one peace